All right, Minus Wells Crypto, Minus Wells here. Today is an outstanding day to be alive because we have the beautiful Moon Chaser here. And she's going to turn on her video. And I had mine on earlier for a little pre-talk here. Um, but um, I'm going to keep mine off until I can back out of what I do professionally. I think that's the safer way to, to go about this whole thing. So I will be revealing myself in the future, you guys. So just stay tuned and... Um, you know, Moon Chaser, go ahead and uh, turn your, your video on if you like, and let's start talking. Hi, Minus. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me here today, Minus. Absolutely. Um, so we were going to mainly talk XRP Ledger because um, XRP is our, you know, my favorite coin, and it's what got me into crypto. And I know that you're involved with some XRP Ledger uh, projects or project, not really sure. And um, a group of people that are looking out for people's safety and security and the integrity of other projects. And I think that's, a, maybe we could start talking about that first, the, um, the group that uh, you kind of are associated with. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, so I do work with a team of guys and, um, um, basically, for the past couple of months, um, we have dedicated ourselves every day. Um, there's no, there are, no, there's no weekends for us. But every day, the, the the team looks into all of the new projects that are being introduced to the XRP ledger. Um, so yeah, um, we um, we have a mission, basically an aim, um, in keeping our community safe and help, hoping to educate people on how to assess new projects so that um, people um, can do their own research and um, keep safe basically in our space because you know um, rug pulls do happen or um, we just want to see people win in the space um, and protect their investments. Yeah, and since this, um, since the XP ledger, we started having all these trust, the, the trust line era come out, um, you know, anyone can just create a token and then, and, uh, you know, like a website and, mm -hmm. you know, advertise it and try to get people to buy it. And, you know, ultimately it's an empty project or a rug pull. And we've seen some of those. And, and that's pretty much what you guys are doing is investigating all these projects. And, um, and, and understanding, you know, if they have white papers, I think is important and if they're black hole. Um, and, you know, I've seen some of the, the tweets that you've been involved in. Um, I mean, how, how risky do you think investing in these projects are? I mean, like out of all the projects you've seen created, uh, how many are, seem to be legit or not so legit? Oh, well, first of all, I, I think I'd like to um, kind of like take the conversation back to why why we have such a culture in our community. Um, the way I see it is, um, well, our, our community, the, the XRP community have been bombarded since this past summer with a whole heap of um, new projects. And with that, um, uh, we've had, uh, a few of us have been bitten by the trust line. Um, airdrop fever and uh, and so and so it's been a really really exciting time and um, I think um, with our community um, uh, different to to other communities I think something something very unique and special is um, uh, our blockchain the XRP ledger has a consensus protocol so I, the core principle behind the XRP ledger is the, uh, the consensus mechanism. And so a little trust goes a long way, right? So that I think um, the principle behind the XRP ledger has permeated into our community in that um, projects cannot just appear and expect um, support. Um, they really need to prove themselves to us. So um, yeah, so when a new project comes on, along, we, we want to encourage people to really assess these projects and, and see whether if there's a white paper, whether if there, there is um, suitable information 
um, like a, a website, um, whether if um, they have a real team, whether if there's legit development um, being made. So it's about promoting um, awareness and a culture of safety within our community. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And just a little history for, for all the newbies out there. I mean, in 2017, we didn't have a decentralized exchanges. So coins that were available to purchase were on on uh, centralized exchanges, right? And and those had to get put through like KYC to get listed on an exchange. They had to get checked out. But now with like Uniswap and uh, Decent uh, the DEX toolkit for XRP, anyone can just create a project um, and try to sell it to people. So there's there's a lot more risk out there um, in that respect than there used to be. So um, like Moonchaser said, it's it's good to to look into. Um, you know, whether or not it's a legit project and, and following her is a good idea. And it's, it's, you know, ask around if you're interested in a coin, you know, ask the community. Um, like she said, we're all here to help. And, um, and they work nonstop to try to keep people safe and the scammers out. Yeah, so touch upon what you said, um, minus some, um, like the XRP ledger, it's unique in that uh, we've had a built-in deck since the, the beginning. But different to other blockchains, let's say Ethereum, we don't have an, a culture of ICOs. Um, so when there are like an IDO, um, initial um, DEX offering on, on our ledger um, or any projects that come and, and, and offers an IDO, they are severely scrutinized. And so we have a culture, I guess, of more leaning towards airdrops. However, um, associated with, there are some um, issues associated with receiving free airdrops because people rush out to like, you know, oh, free tokens, they, they rush out to set up their trust lines, but we should be aware of um, how to assess a project. And um, yeah, I think another thing is, um, it's not just my team or the group of um, guys that I'm involved in that looks at these projects. It's the whole, I would say the XRP community, um, at large, uh, we've been um, with this culture that we've cultivated um, from people, from general XRP fans like myself and to XRP um, ledger developers and validators, um, we're all very protective of our network. And um, I think it's, it's upon us, it's incumbent upon all of us to really monitor these activities and projects that do come upon, um, to get introduced to the XRP ledger. So what is your, what projects are you into? I mean, I know you've, you've uh, looked at a lot of projects just because of everything we talked about. What projects um, are you kind of interested, intrigued in? And, and um, you know, I can tell you what I'm intrigued in, but let's start with you. Well, um, people who follow me know that um, I am the brand, a brand investor for Aesthetis. Um, that's something I've been involved in the past few months. Um, Aesthetics is, is a uh, company based in Milan, Italy. And um, what they aim to do is to build the first fine art um, digital NFT marketplace on the XRP ledger. So they're bringing a very unique vision and uh, it's pretty exciting. I've been really enjoying my time um, being one of their brand ambassadors. So, so what's the deal with that? Are we, they're going to buy art and then they're going to make NFTs out of it and then, you know, keep the art in a safe or something and then sell the NFTs to, you know, a limited amount of NFTs to whoever wants to, to buy them. Is that how it's going to work? So I, I kind of understand it, but. Yeah. Uh, well, basically what, um, AS this do, they, they will, um, yeah, purchase art. They will custody, uh, the physical artworks and then they will create digital masterpieces or NFTs um, from that artwork. So that concept is called, um, the process is, um, well, the concept is called digital. So digital is the fusion of the words um, physical and digital. Yeah. So the technology, it's bringing technology that bridges um, the, the, the physical and the digital world. So you'll hear a lot about um, digital um, with regards to aesthetics. That's pretty awesome. I, I think of like, you know, the Mona Lisa, that's 
you know, no one can really own that. It's in a museum, and but uh, they could digitize it and make NFTs out of it, and then you could own it. So that's, I think that's that's a really strong use case uh, for NFTs, and I see, I see that being valuable. I, I think the scarcity aspect about it um, is is great, um, and the fact that it is fine art from an area in the world that. Um, you know, specializes in, in uh, nice things like that. Um, I see a lot of value. So I'm keeping a close eye and I, I know we just got the airdrop and I definitely didn't sell my airdrop just so you know, I actually added to my, my bags a little bit. Well, it's, it's good that you added because um, like I've been telling people on Twitter, like if you hold um, a, um, the ASZ is um, native token called Elysian or ELS. Uh, you will be rewarded um, with um, airdrops um, starting from Q1 uh, in 2022 next year. Nice. Yeah, it'll be, the token is called Athena. Athena, that's beautiful. Uh, so another token for holding, that sounds like a pretty good incentive uh, mm -hmm. for a pretty good project. I mean, you see all these NFTs that have limited supply um, and they just go crazy. So I kind of expect the same type of activity, especially when they get their marketplace. They're getting a marketplace set up right now. Is that right? Yes, um, the marketplace, um, the ASETIS um, NFT marketplace will actually be launched. Well, it's scheduled to launch in Q3 of um, next year. Okay, so we have some time to accumulate. Yes. Great, that's <laughs> exciting. And what, what project are you into, may I ask? Oh, well, my all-time favorite on the XRP Ledger, um, I'm sure some people know, is Equilibrium Games, and e the ticker is EQ. Yeah, that's um, a great what, project. I've been following that one as well. I think so. And, you know, they're incorporating NFTs too, and that's mm -hmm. like they're going to have real estate um, in the game that if you own and, you know, people kill monsters on your land, you, get, you collect taxes and how they're going to partition the sandbox uh, the sandbox meaning it's a limited amount of space in these these uh, these worlds um, that you can buy land in. They're going to partition the land using NFTs. So the NFT is going to um, kind of depict you know what your plot of land is. So that's and that's and all the items are going to be NFTs and there's going to be a marketplace. And I think it's going to be a huge hit. I mean, you look at Gala Games and Axie Infinity and all these. Um, all these games that try to make blockchain work and, you know, the, the use case of having um, equilibrium EQ is the instead of having gold um, in, in the game, having it be EQ, I think it's just, you know, it's, it's utility for the coin to the max, especially if you need it to buy land. It, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see how the gameplay works and, um, you know, I expect big things out of that project. So it's exciting. Definitely. Yeah, that's the, yeah. No, I've been following EQ since they've they've launched, and uh, the team really they have a really good team, and the and they've been able to prove their tech development, which is really important. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm enjoying the progress that they've been making. But besides, I think the the projects that we mentioned, there are quite a lot of other um, promising projects um, being developed on the XRP ledger, and. Um, well, one that I've been looking up um, is um, Vagabond. Um, it's it just came onto the scene, and I I did a lot of um, reading, <laughs> and uh, I did a deep dive onto the project. So maybe another time I can come onto the, your channel and talk about it. That would be outstanding. I would yeah. like that. Um. So, is there anything else that you wanted to ask me? Do you have any you have any questions about minus? Well, no, I've been um really enjoying your videos and <laughs> your foray into um the metaverse. <laughs> it has been very entertaining. It's a trip, yeah. And if you actually get in there and put the headsets on, it's it's so cool. It's un it's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, the future is going to be it's going to be nuts because this is going to get built out and technology is going to get better. And, um, you know, I, I, I had a really good time playing blackjack the other day in there with <laughs> a bunch of, you know, crazy avatars. So, yeah, well, it's so interesting the, the world that we're like uh, moving towards. Yeah. 
It's a whole blockchain too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, I think that's about all I got for you, Moon Chaser. I guess, I guess you just committed to another, another, um, appearing on the show. So I'm looking forward to that when you have, well, whenever you get your information in line for uh, Vagabond. Oh yeah. I think it's uh, one of the really promising projects on the XRP ledger. Um, only because I think the vision is about democratizing, um, blockchain technology for everyone. So it's like, you know, who doesn't want to um, access this, um, this technology, but, but for businesses, especially businesses and individuals who do want to create like a income stream or revenue, um, it's, um, I think the applications that they are developing um, is really uh, promising. <laughs> but that's why, yeah, I'll, I'll, maybe another time I'll, I'll provide more information, but I do feel it's one of the promising projects. And as like I said, there are many um, projects on the XRP ledger. When there's an airdrop you were talking about as well, right? Yes, there is an airdrop for, for Vagabond, and that's happening on the 1st of, um, well, the snapshot it was happening on the 1st of December. So to, I've been trying to tell people about this. <laughs> so what do, what do we do? We just have to max max out our rewards by holding a certain amount of XRP in our whatever wallet we have? Is that how it works? Was, okay, so basically with regards to the airdrop... Um, I yeah, want to be you, prepared, so... Okay, you set up your trust line, and um, what they do have um, a set of conditions regarding the, the airdrop. So you need to set up a trust line. Um, they encourage you to register on their website and um, um, register, register your interests and just let them know um, your uh, XRP uh, address. And um, in terms of um, the, uh, the airdrop itself, it will be a one-to-one -one ratio for um, for XRP and Vagabond. And um, yeah, um, it will be capped at um, 1,000 um, Vagabonds. So if you hold more than 1,000 XRP on that a particular um, XRP, in that particular XRP wallet, you will not receive more than um, 1,000 um, Vagabond or VGBs. Yes. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm definitely going to try to accumulate that XRP in that wallet there. Well, uh, Moon Chaser, thank you very much. Uh, this was great. Thank you for your time, Minus. I mean, it's um, great to, to meet you and talk to you. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you in our next chat. <laughs> Absolutely. You have a good day. You too. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.